So this video is about why I don't tip. Um, I'd like to start off by saying that this video, it's not any kind of attack against anyone that works in the hospitality industry. Like, you know, anyone working in the restaurant or bar or in the food delivery industry or anyone that uh, drives taxi or anything like that. It's not an attack on any of them. I do realize that people in those industries, people that work in the restaurant industry, <clears throat> people that work in bars and nightclubs, people that drive taxi for a living, people that deliver food like deliver pizza, another hot food to people's homes and, and workplaces, I realize they work hard. I have nothing against them whatsoever. I'm thankful for the job they do. And I know that those are all jobs that uh, come with a great deal of challenges. However, I work hard for my money as well too. I work in an office as a sales rep and a customer service person. And I don't, even though I work hard, I don't get tips at work. And I don't expect to be tipped at work either. I mean, if I get a tip, great. I'll be, I'll appreciate it very much. <clears throat> but I don't expect to be tipped. And I just hate the attitude of self-entitlement that some, not all people in the hospitality industry, but the attitude of self-entitlement that some people in the hospitality industry have. Like, I work hard for my money. I'll be quite honest, I don't make a lot of money. Therefore, I want my money to last me for as long as I can. I want to stretch my dollars as far as I can. Therefore, I don't tip. That's one of the ways I save myself money. Now, mind you, I don't eat out very often. I, I try to eat at home as much as possible and brown bag my lunch as much as possible because I know that those are ways I know those are ways to save myself money and whenever I do eat out usually quite often it's at fast food restaurants maybe not the healthiest thing in the world but I want my money to last me for as long as I can so one way to save myself some money is by not tipping. And in terms of taxis, I, I haven't taken a taxi in years. I prefer to travel by public transit, whether it be by bus, uh, subway, LRT, whatever. <clears throat> and I don't feel obligated to tip either. If I go to a restaurant, I'm just gonna pay what I see on the bill. If I go to a bar, I don't go, I don't go to bars very often. As a matter of fact, last time I went to a bar was um, on New Year's Eve. If I go to a bar, I'm just gonna pay what the, I'm just gonna pay what whatever the bartender tells me the total is. Like if drinks are five seventy five, I'll pay five seventy five. If I get food delivered to my home, I'm just gonna pay what's on the bill. And um, if I take a taxi, I'm just gonna pay what's on the meter. I don't think anyone, I don't feel obligated to tip. I don't think anyone should feel obligated to tip. And I don't think anyone working in those industries should feel that any of their customers are obligated to tip them or feel that they're entitled to a tip. A tip is something to be appreciated and uh, happy about. Yes, I agree with that. But it's not something to be, to be entitled to. And just because someone does not tip you, that doesn't give you the right to provide them with poor service or even do nasty things to them such as spit in their food or refuse to serve them at all. As a matter of fact, if I went to a restaurant and I discovered that someone spat on my food or did something nasty with my food, yeah, you better believe I would call the police and call the local health authority and report, report that person or those people.
it's just that, you know, okay, let, let's look at it this way. How many of you have ever called the police or had to go to the police for help? Did you um, like to report a crime or report someone missing or something like one of your pets missing? Okay, the, did you, uh, how many of you tipped the police, gave the police any money for helping you out? The police have a very hard job to perform and the police have a very dangerous job to perform. How many of you have ever, ever had to take an ambulance? Like, I hope that that's not very many, very many people that have ever had to ride in an ambulance. But how many of you have ever had to ride in an ambulance? Did you tip the ambulance, uh, the paramedics, for uh, saving your life? How many of you have ever had to call the fire department? Did you tip the fire department for the services they carried out? They have a very hard job as well, too, and a very risky job. When you go Christmas shopping, do you tip those retail workers that have to put up with all the abuse from their cut from customers and their coworkers and um, and their superiors and put up with all those lousy shifts? The point I'm trying to get at is just because someone works hard for their money does that does not automatically entitle them to a tip. And I think people should lose this attitude of self-entitlement. Oh, I bring your food and drinks, so, so you should be tipping me 20%. No, I don't agree with that. Sure, it's nice to receive tips, but tips are a privilege. They should not be an entitlement. I've worked, I work hard in my job. Like I'm, I'm in customer service and sales. I've had to put up with uh, verbal abuse from customers. And since I'm in sales, anyone who's in sales knows how difficult sales is. That you might have to, you, you, you might have to go through dozens or even hundreds of customers before getting a customer to say yes to you and buy and buy what you're selling. Do I expect any tips from them? No, I don't. And I don't know of anywhere in Canada where you're obligated to tip. I don't know of anywhere in Canada where you're obligated to tip, whether it be taxi drivers or waiters, or waitresses, or bartenders, or delivery people. <clears throat> and nobody should feel obligated to tip either. Again, this is not to take away from the hard work that people do in the hospitality industry, but just because someone works hard doesn't mean that uh, they're entitled to a tip. Remember that all those people working in those industries, the majority of them are already receiving an hourly wage. They're receiving some kind of wage. So it's not like, at least here in Canada, it's not like they're working on tips only. They're receiving an hourly wage or a salary. So the tips are just extra icing on the cake, which I repeat again, should be seen as a privilege and not a right or an entitlement. And maybe if you're working in that industry and you feel that uh, you're entitled to a tip, then either A, you have the wrong attitude or B, maybe you should find yourself another industry to work in <clears throat> if you don't feel that you're earning enough money. Anyways, that's, that's basically how I feel about tipping, and that's why, why I don't tip. This might turn out to be my most hated video. You can go ahead and feel free to thumbs it down if you like. I would prefer if you thumbs it up, but you can go ahead and feel free to thumbs it down if you'd like. 
And I know that there's going to be a lot of, there might be some people out there that agree with me, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that disagree with me. You can go ahead and disagree with me in the comments section if you like. As long as you do it in a respectful, tactful, ma non-abusive manner. But all I can say is if you decide to leave me a rude, insulting, verbally abusive co um, comment on this video or any of my other videos, I will delete your comment. I will block you. I will send you... As well, I will send you back an insulting comment. And if it's serious enough, I might even decide to report you. And if it gets too out of control, I might even decide to disable my comments section. So if you could let me know in the comments section, in a respectful, tactful manner, do you tip or do you not tip? If you do tip, how much do you tip? And why do you feel it's important to tip? And if you choose not to tip and you agree with me, then why you don't tip? Thanks for listening.